Culture in general is a difficult phenomena um, to influence uh, and to change. In cases where people get into a difficult situation and get very close uh, into a situation where easily an incident or even an accident could develop from it, that is, that is the specific situation where we want to learn. That is the situation that we want to know. It's not easy to say, I made a mistake. These were the consequences to the people around you. It's people together. They should communicate. They should share their um, the situations that they come across. Because every situation is unique. Um, talk to your colleagues, talk to your line manager. Line managers among themselves talk to each other and make sure that the information that we get is respected and that we use it for the benefit for the organization. That's very important. When the EGOT uh, proposed to management back in 1996, a Just Culture project, we were looked with a little bit of astonishment. The political processes, the political pressures, the, um, the international pressures at that time, all indicated even 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, that this was something that needed to be addressed. With the help of management and the other social partners in Maastricht, we came a long way. It takes a long time to implement a drastic change as a just culture in a system where previously people were punished for mistakes. And it was clear that there was a need to get safety data, to protect this data, and also to protect those who provide the data. It needs to be protective uh, for the individual concerned uh, in order to encourage reporting. Because actually I'm uh, pointing at myself uh, when I stand up and say, okay, uh, most probably I made a mistake. So it's important for Just Culture to have an, an open atmosphere. It's an environment in which people feel at ease uh, to report any safety concern they have, any incident they have had, any error they have made. Even the minor incidents. And uh, where there's no punishment falling for that, where people are encouraged to do so, or even rewarded to do so, and with the purpose of learning from that information. We would go for a complete non-punitive reporting system in which it is only mandatory and you can only be found uh, guilty, let's say, if you do not report. Uh, people can make mistakes, but therefore it is important to share the information. If someone does a mistake, we say, fine, we did a mistake, so what can we do to improve it? Mistake that potentially might, if followed by a chain of further mistakes, might trigger something more serious. Just culture is another safety net for our industry. It is an environment where reporting of mistakes is encouraged not just to fix the problem, but also to understand the reasons leading to it. Just Culture is not seeking impunity or amnesty for someone's mistakes. We need those reports to, to make improvements, um, make improvements to the system, make improvements to procedures. The more you know, the more you are safe. I think that Just Culture can be applied to any of the services that we do. It's not just operations, engineering, it's support staff. We all come and do the mistakes. We are all human beings. I like to think in Eurocontrol in NM, we, we come at work to do a great job. And the errors that we bring along are just honest mistake and uh, we should not discipline people for their mistakes. We should do internally what we preach to the outside world as well. You first of all need to stop being complacent by thinking that what we have is good enough. Rules and procedures need to be clear to everybody. Professional behaviour that is expected from, from the staff needs to be documented and needs to be clear. The culture itself needs to be nurtured at all levels. I, as a director, of course, feel an ultimate responsibility. Top management needs to be aware. They need to impose uh, just culture. They need to impose to themselves by not punishing people. Um, after this is the responsibility of everyone. It is only by continuous work in making sure that we change this culture that we actually get to an end result. Example behavior for me, and that's sort of this, that is top, really top-down, uh, example behavior 
is, is the best ingredient here uh, in order to make this to, uh, uh, to a success. It's not them or us. Uh, we are all responsible for um, getting the best service out there.